Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim, and today I want to talk about Litecoin and surviving the bear market. Now, I found this article、um, covering Franklin Richards' advice for startups.、Uh, Franklin is one of the Litecoin developers, and he's been a great resource to the community as he explains a lot about Litecoin and the progress that they're making each day. And it is called Just Survive. The bear market. Now, as the article explains, a lot of the cryptocurrency startups are facing a huge crisis because of the bloodbath. And with the ICO model fading, the crisis situation for new startups is increasing. But for Franklin Richards, the director of the network Litecoin, is of the view that the situation will become better once the bear market comes to an end. Now, that is That is obvious. Once the bear market ends, the bull market starts, and everyone is happy again. Actually, it's a, middle, it's a bit more complicated than that. But let's read a quote from Franklin Just survive the bear market. It's always more painful than you can imagine being prepared for it to last twice as long. Once you come out on the other end and interest picks up, you will be rewarded. Now, is that statement true for you guys? For you guys out there listening to me, to these videos, and trying to search up on YouTube, where is cryptocurrency heading? Can I benefit from this? How much times X can I make from cryptocurrency? And you guys are, a lot of you guys out there are concerned with profit, profit, money, money, money. Now, it is. It is very important to be focused on the profit aspect. For me as well, when I got into the space, I was very surprised at the potential of these cryptocurrencies. But the longer I study cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and Litecoin and other altcoins out there, the more I feel that this is not just about. Profit. Now, profit is a big aspect of cryptocurrency, no doubt about it. However, I think, I believe that cryptocurrency is the future to come. Now, I do not know if it's going to be the dominant currency of the world. It can be. However, right now, we, we are in this era where different countries have their own currencies. For example, the United States has the US dollar, Europe has a euro. British have pounds, and each country h a v e their own dominant currency. But cryptocurrency, I believe, is one of the only global currency out there that you can use anywhere in the world. Now, albeit it's not widely available throughout the countries, but there is a huge fundamental aspect of cryptocurrency that I truly love and that is that it is censorship resistant. And that you're, you are your own bank. Now, you probably heard this a lot before, but hone on on that fact and see, rethink, reevaluate why you're investing into cryptocurrency. If it's simply for profit, you're gonna have a harder time as the bear market continues on, or it might be over, but no one knows yet. But that said, if you stick to the fundamentals, And have a strong hand and hodl through, it, through the bear market, the interest will pick up at the end and you'll be rewarded, according to Franklin. That said, Litecoin, I believe, is one of the more, more fundamentally、uh, sound cryptocurrencies out there. And there's a reason that why I stuck with it for、um, it's, it's been a little over a year now, I think. Maybe. Year and a half, but that said, I still love my Litecoins. I'm hodling every single one of them. I have made some mistakes in the past、uh, trading my Litecoins, but after those mistakes, I'm gonna stick and hodl all my Litecoins. But that said, Litecoin partnerships with UFC. Now, this was in news,、uh, I believe, a week ago or maybe a couple weeks ago, but Frank- Franklin states that the UFC partnership. Opens up a few more avenues of interest and lends a certain type of legitimacy to the project, as only many companies with reputation won't touch something they believe will be harmful to their audience. 
And Franklin further explains that we are already in the talks with others and would hope to build a mutually beneficial relationship with them where they accept Litecoin payments for events and shows and opening up, exposing further to the public. Now, this is very nice. Um, Litecoin, a Litecoin Foundation is helping promote Litecoin to the public. Now, compared to Bitcoin, there isn't really a um, there's kind of like a Bitcoin foundation, uh, like I guess Blockstream is kind of like that, but it's not like the official one. They're just part of the, the beneficial groups for Bitcoin. But Litecoin does have a foundation, um, does have a strong team of developers and community behind it. And I do like this direction that opening out to the public, advertising more about Litecoin and it is like a silver to Bitcoin. It is a more transactable cryptocurrency. Um, right now, the fees are very minimal for Litecoin transaction fees. And for Bitcoin, the fees are pretty minimal too. But however, remember when the bull market starts. Remember the, the, the peak of 2017 when Bitcoin fee got abnormally high. That's when you look towards Litecoin because there will be times where so many transactions are going. Everyone is hyped up. Everyone wants to use cryptocurrency. And if you look towards Bitcoin at that time, there is a high chance that the fees will be in very high demand. And at those times, Litecoin fees will be still minimum. And with Charlie Lee and many other developers focusing on reducing the fees and making it more efficient, it's going to be even more minimum in the future. That's what I believe. So Litecoin, although people might say it's only a clone of Bitcoin, it is nothing less. It is nothing more. I believe Litecoin has its place in cryptocurrency and it is the most dominant script mining out there as well. So as secure, fast and efficient, it kind of complements Bitcoin in that sense. And that's why I love my Litecoins. I continue to hodl and invest into them. Now, that's simply what I am doing, my opinion. Whatever you guys are doing, that's your own choice. And you guys make your own choice. I'm not going to force you guys. Or I can't force you guys to make your make choices that to follow me. But that said, be smart out there, be wise, as cryptocurrency can sometimes can be deceiving. So make sure you do your own research, take in these inf uh, informations and decide for yourself. Is this helpful to my lifestyle, to my investment? And if it's not, take the other way. If it is, then continue to hodl and invest into these cryptocurrencies. But that said, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this kind of content, like this video, comment below and smash the subscribe button. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, check out the links below and I'll really appreciate that. And as always, I'll bring you guys more deals on Daily Deals with Tim.